Hello, I'm Leanne Sparr. In this section, we will discuss checking services and credit card transactions. The specific topics we will discuss in this section are, we will identify bank services available to customers. We will determine deposits with credit card transactions, and we will calculate the discount fee on credit card deposits. Let's begin with a few definitions. ATM cards are used as debit cards when making point-of-sale purchases. The fee for purchases varies from $0.10 cents per transaction to $1 per month for unlimited transactions. When used at the ATM machine, there is usually no fee at any branch of your bank, a fee as high as $2.50 at other banks, and an international fee as high as $5. An overdraft occurs when a check is written for which there are non-sufficient funds in the checking account and the customer has no overdraft protection, also referred to as bouncing a check. The typical charge to the writer of the bad check is $20 to $35 per bad check. The same charges occur when a check is returned because it was improperly completed. Overdraft protection is given when an account balance is insufficient to cover the amount of a check and an overdraft occurs. Charges for overdraft protection vary among banks. A returned deposit item is a check that was deposited and then returned to the bank, usually because of lack of funds in the account of the person or firm writing the check. A common charge to the depositor of the check is $5. A stop payment order is a request by depositor that the bank not honor a check that the depositor has written, $20 per request. A cashier's check is a check written by the financial institution itself and is viewed as being as good as cash, $5 per check. A money order is a purchased instrument that is often used in place of cash and is sometimes required instead of a personal or business check, $4 each. A notary service, which is official certification of a signature on a document, is a service that is required on certain business documents. Occasionally, this service is free to customers, but there is usually a charge of around $10. Now let's look at an exercise involving a credit card transaction. The following credit card transactions occurred at a business during a recent period. What is the total amount of the sales slips? We will add up all of these sales and the total is $1,595.36. We will now find the total of the credit slips. Adding these three credits, the total is $207.69. Find the gross deposit when the sales and credits are deposited the cells total $15.95.36. We will subtract the credits, which are $207.69, to find the gross deposit of $1,387.67. If the fee paid by the business is 4%, find the amount of the charge at the statement date. The gross deposit is $1,387.67, and there is a 4% fee, which gives us, rounded to the nearest cent, $55.51. Find the amount of the credit given to this business after the fee is subtracted. The gross deposit was $1,387. 67. The fee was $55.51, so the credit given to Max Tune and Smog is $1,332.16. Now let's fill out the credit card slip. You will see that we had the number of sales was 10. We had three credit slips. The amount of sales was $1,595.36.
the credits were $207.69 and the gross amount was $1,387.67. In this section, we have discussed checking services and credit card transactions. Credit cards are very important to businesses because most transactions are conducted through the use of credit cards. So now it's time for you to practice some problems using credit card transactions.